What you told me, it's out there, about three or four miles. And we've got to go by foot from here, huh? Right, there's no roads back there. It's pretty rough terrain, mostly hills and gullies. Is that? Yeah. It looks like my meteor is a spacecraft of some kind. Come on, Mayor. Let's take a closer look. That's one hell of a sight. Yes, it is. Do you have any idea what this means, Mayor Wicker? No, and I'm not sure I want to know. Wait a minute. That noise. What noise? Zachary! Zachary! God! What's that? There, please. It's trying to communicate with me.
What happened? What... What was all that about? The blue light? Look, I'll explain later. We've got to get out of here fast. That thing is going to explode! I warned you to stay on the main trail. What asshole put that there? Poachers have traps all over this area. Well, that goddamn thing could have torn my leg off. Did anybody ever tell you that you've got an attitude problem? All the time. They're coming. Oh. Rick, are you all right? Yeah. Those chunks of metal won't stop it. I think we should stake this sack of shit to the ground and let her have him. Oh, Rick's got himself a good point, right, huh? All right. All right. You all follow along that trail until you come to a tree marked with a no hunting sign. I'll meet you there. Where are you going? Nowhere yet. I'm going to stay here and see that whatever that is takes advantage of this trap. Our hero at work. I love it. doing out here? Oh, well, our damn truck broke down, and we was huffing at home, and that, ow, son of a bitch. Then we ran across uh, Doc Burnside. Burnside? Is he all right? Well, not exactly, no. How's your foot, Bert? Well, to be perfectly truthful, it could be better. You think you can walk? The question is, can you run? Well, help me up. Yeah, grab your rod. I mean, what in the hell is going on around here, Ward? Look, there's no time to talk about that right now. All you've got to worry about is getting your butts back to your place and getting yourself barricaded in. Barricaded? From what? Look, you just listen to what I'm telling you, you're going to be all right. Whatever in the hell that is out there is not after you boys. Well, look, I don't like running away from something that I don't even know what it was. I mean, Doc Burnside's laying back there like a smoked ham, but I don't care. I ain't afraid of it. I ain't afraid Riley. at all. Look! Let's get the hell out of here! The shit has hit the fan. Let's roll. No.
Cindy! Hey! Cindy, what are you doing? I've been chasing you after every mountainside there is. Creatures, what are you trying to feed us here? Jack, would you just listen? So when I knelt over the creature, my mind went momentarily blank. And then I was aware of a bright blue light. Then thoughts began to enter my mind. It wasn't really as though someone was talking to me, but I knew that these thoughts were there. The creature communicating with me was apparently transporting zoological specimens back to his home planet. Now, I know that he had three creatures that were captured in various parts of the galaxy, but something went wrong with his spacecraft and he was forced down to Earth. When the ship crashed, the alien was mortally wounded, and the electronic screens holding the specimens were deactivated, and the specimens were freed. Do you really expect us to believe all that? Jack, believe him. I was there. It happened. I saw it. Well, Mr. Zachary, what do you suggest we do? I have a lot of equipment with me. And since this sort of thing is in my field, I think I can stop the creatures. With what? I thought bullets didn't have any effect on these creatures. Conventional weapons may not work, Miss Martin. But like I said, I do have some special equipment. Well, it's up to you, Mayor. If you'd like me to try, I'm willing to start right away. Bert, you can do what you like. But these creatures have now killed several people. And I think the smartest thing we can do is evacuate the town. Then call in the government. Let them take care of it. It's tough. Believe me, folks. It's tough. Mr. Zachary, I'll give you a couple days. If you can kill these creatures, Fine. If you can't, we'll have to take the sheriff's advice. Well, Jack, keep on the alert for anyone calling in. If you need me, I'll be down at Luke's. I'm going on patrol. I'll see you later. <laughs> What are you doing out here anyway? I don't know. Pete said the fire would kill the creatures, so I brought some gas. Well, I guess it was a stupid idea. But I just don't trust that Zachary. There's something about him I just don't like. Yeah, he's an oddball, all right. Hey, you know, that gasoline idea of yours might not be too bad. You bring any matches? Yeah, I got my cricket. Hey, you haven't told me what you're doing out here. Same thing as you, I guess. 
I just can't sit still knowing those creatures are running around loose. of course that you almost ruined my chances of getting at this creature don't you don't you then you killed it how it was simple enough to figure out this is a hard shelled insect form since bullets didn't penetrate it I knew a different approach was needed I've got a high frequency speaker over there in effect what I did was use an extremely high pitched sound to burst its shell What's that needle for? I've extracted some fluid from the joint of this thing's claw. I'm sure it'll be the same poison found in several of the victims. Good thing you were here, Zachary. Well, let me tell you something. I don't appreciate you two coming out here. I almost had this thing coaxed into the sound field when you two showed up and almost distracted it. Fortunately, you lured it back into my range. Look, I specifically said I wanted to work alone. Perhaps now you can see my reasoning. Look, Mr. Zachary, despite what the mayor says, I have a right as a reporter to be out here, too. Rights don't matter in a situation like this, Miss Martin. Now, look, you either let me handle this in my own way or you go call in your army. But I think I have proven right here and now that I'm capable of dealing with these creatures. All right, Mr. Zachary, we'll play the game your way. I apologize for the intrusion.
Come on, let's move out. We set a trap of plungy sticks for her. Maybe that will slow her down. What, no trophy? I thought you'd at least bring back her head. No trophy, Rick. And she's not dead. Not even close. Let's go.
You there? Yes, yeah, Sheriff. Where are you? I'm out Stemmers Creek Road. Uh, look, I was thinking it over, and I'm convinced this thing should be in the hands of the government. So I'm going to run by the mayor's house and try to talk some sense into him. Oh, boy, he isn't going to like that. Well, I don't care if he does or not. Who the hell is it? It's Ward Armstrong. What's up, Ward? We got big trouble, Colonel. It'll take some explaining. Well, come in and tell me about it. You'll have to do your talking by candlelight. The power's out. Well, I got a few people with me. So I noticed. Bring them on in. Okay, everybody. Inside. Where'd the kids come from? Let's talk about it inside. Yeah, that should be interesting. <clears throat> you got some strange-looking friends, Ward. Go pass them around. <clears throat> so you're from, uh, didn't get the name of your planet, son. Happy no colony. It had no name. No oh, right, a prison planet. No name, not even a number. At least we give prisoners numbers down here. Look, Colonel, I know this sounds strange, but we don't have time to discuss this right now. That thing out there is going to be coming through your front door the hard way any minute now. Uh, this, uh, female, a alien. You say she's packing some kind of a laser weapon? Yes, she blew the shit out of Mr. Game Warden's cabin. Huh. Ruskies have an operational laser. Let the Vietnamese use it in a border incident with the Red Chinese, as I recall. Hey, look, Colonel, I know this is hard to swallow. I can hardly believe it myself, but hot damn, it's the truth. Oh, I think you believe it's the truth. But it's common knowledge that UFOs, little green men, and space monsters are figments of the imagination, usually brought on by stress. Fucking A, we got stress. We're stressed out to the max here. When do you get our brains blown out? You're skating on a thin ice, boy. Let's stop playing macho for a minute. The reality is that there is someone or something out there trying to kill us. What it is or where it's from doesn't really matter, does it? This ought to make everyone feel more comfortable. I'm telling you, we shot her over and over again. She just kept coming. This is an AK-47. I took it off an NBA officer after it sliced up an entire squad. My squad. The AK will do one hell of a job with the right man behind the trigger. But, Colonel, leave yellow room. Yeah. Oh.
<laughs> Let me get you out. No, Jack. No, don't worry about me, Jack. They've got Carrie on the craft. She's still alive? Where is she? Come on, Fred. Fred, come on. She's, She's alive, alive, but I don't know for how long. What do you mean by that, Fred? Huh? Come on, stay with me, Fred. What do you mean by that? Fred, it's this thing. This priest. He wants to use her and another girl. Use her for what? Use her for what? I don't know. Come on. Go on, Jack. Get out of here.
Beauty killed the beast. Is everybody okay? Steven, Ruth, thank you. You okay, Sheriff? I'll live. Well, it looks like you saved the day again, Zachary. Well, I hadn't planned it that way. I came here to talk to the mayor. And by the way, where is the mayor? He's dead, behind the garage. Well, this thing won't kill anyone else, that's for sure. Yeah, speaking of that, what did you use to kill it? It's a specially designed weapon I devised myself. It fires a projectile placed at the tip, in this case a hypodermic needle which injects fluid upon impact with the target. Actually, that giant insect I killed last night helped kill this creature. What do you mean? Remember that poison I extracted? Yeah. Well, that's the same poison I shot into this creature. When the doctor said how lethal the poison found in the victims was, well, I reasoned that it might be lethal enough to kill one of these other creatures. It was a gamble, but it paid off. Better be Magnum. Drop a bull elephant at a hundred yards. <gasps> it's going. On. He says that collar's some kind of a tracking device. Says it won't come off. It won't, huh? No, Colonel, don't. Close, but no cigar. Had that thing on a long time. Well, let's put it where it can do some good. But first, we need to put a little bite in the bait. You, grab a gun and guard the back door. be home without it. Any personnel of mine? Nothing on this planet or any other planet is going to walk away when this baby blows. We were thinking, Colonel, there might be another way. Like what? Tell him, Cole. It's possible to interrupt its energy systems. You got an idea? Let's hear it. A net. A net? A net made out of some form of metal. When placed in contact with it, could possibly short circuit, maybe even destroy it. Here, yeah, give it a try. I got some barbed wire and chicken mesh in this shed. But my money's on this baby. Meanwhile, at Space Prison. over. You win. The Hunter unit is continuing to engage the native life of the planet, but you know how devastating the power is. In its effort to regain the prisoner, just methodically destroying everything in its sight. Well, the uh, chase is escalating. Hmm? Why is this taking so damn long? Maybe the prisoner's meant to live. All right, 
she's still homing in on that collar, she's going to walk into the biggest surprise of her life. Yeah, maybe. Office. Uh, just a minute. Did you put in a call to a Mr. Dodds at the Garrett Observatory? Yeah, my call about Zachary. Hello, Mr. Dodds. Sheriff Sender, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, I talked to your secretary yesterday. Uh-huh. Benjamin Zachary. Oh, I see. Well... No, we'll handle it. Look, thank you very much, Mr. Dodds. Okay. Goodbye. My hunch was right. They never heard of a Mr. Zachary at the Garrett Observatory. Come 
Everybody down! We're in for it now. See, Colonel? It's the War of the Worlds, and we're on the front lines. Stay cold, son. I know we are. No, we're not. She's gonna catch us in this dirt hole and she's gonna kill all of us. Listen, if we're quiet, she might not know where we are. She is. Some figment of the imagination, huh, Colonel? Well, I'd like to get a closer look at that. Come on. Come on. What the hell? Why didn't it go off? Must be a goddamn dud. Listen. That's gibberish. What? She's trying to communicate. Don't listen to any of your shit. Shut out! It's starting to sound like English. It's very clear what it says. Well, spit it out. I will let you go. Come out of the house. It orders you to lay down your weapons and surrender. It will let you go free. If you turn me over to it. Sounds reasonable to me. Oh, please, for our sake, would you goddamn give yourself up? First rule, never surrender your weapons. Second rule. Blow the hell out of your enemy before they can do it to you. Got it. Oh, yeah. I've heard that before. I can scrape her up with a spoon. All right, everybody, back to your post and keep your eyes open. As dreath is Lord, as dreath is Lord. My master dwells within the sacred chamber, his vessel buried deep in the bowels of the earth. He eats of the flesh of the land, waiting patiently, gathering his strength for a return journey to the stars. I am his faithful shepherd, his servant of the table. My sacred dagger is raised in trembling anticipation. As dreath is Lord. As dreath is Lord. Oh, hear me as dreath, Lord.
fucking rock! Come on, you fucking bitch! Why don't you do it? No, it's on the roof. Can't be. Nothing could have lived through that blast. Don't fire that muzzle blast might torch the roof. You got shit for brains, kid? We've got to get out of here! Hey, we're... Carol! Stay put. Now I'm pissed. See anything? Nothing. Where'd she go? Guys, don't shoot. Don't shoot. She's out in front. She's got Rick. I'll go around the back. friends come looking for her. Maybe we should cremate the body just to be sure. Turn up the only proof we have? I don't know about that. Maybe you're right. Oh, I wish I had one of these babies back on Forkshop Hill. I'd have fried me some commie rice. Jack. You okay? Yeah. 
I lost my pack. I have it here. We can carry out of here, we can blow this place to hell. to our space vessel. After being stranded for more than a century, our Lord is ready to return to the glory of heaven.
What's that supposed to mean? I thought I was going to teach you the ways of the planet. You will. Cut the crap. What do you really want? You. Here you go, Art. Oh, thanks, honey. I wonder where Rick and Cole went to. Good question. Maybe we better go have a look, Warden. Finish with the coffee? I guess so. Oh, can't a guy take a leak in private? Where's Cole? How the hell should I know? Hold it a minute. I don't like being touched, man. Something's wrong here. Meanwhile, at Space Prison. Excuse me, sir. This is a restricted area. You're not allowed to be here. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I lost my way. I, uh... Well, the master control room's right through that door. Thank you very much. Oh, the sun's come up. About time. That's the longest night of my life. Oh, no, no. I wanted to drink a toast to Carolyn. To Carolyn's expert marksmanship. Mighty fine shooting, little lady. I can't argue with that. And to Ward and the Colonel for saving our lives. Here, here. Thank you. I'm worried about Paul. I mean, I, I wonder where he is. Hey, he's out getting worms for breakfast. Who cares? I'll go get some gas for the generator. You need some help? No, thank God, my heart. Rick, lay off. That's what I had in mind, a little lay. I said, leave me alone, Rick. I mean it. Let go. I said, leave me alone. No, Rick. I, I mean it. Let me go. Back off, kid. I've appropriated Rick's body. He's a small grease spot in the forest. I am coal. You are nothing. Mean what? Preparing. 
entering final termination sequence. Now let's do a positive ID gene scan, just for the record. Don't want our delegate general friend saying we're not following our own code. It's cold, all right. His head, anyway. Well, that's strange. What? Well, his gene pattern. It has that same hook, just like... Identification positive. War criminal call terminated. Mission completed. Go! No! 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 Go! Go! No! Permission requested to return to planet. Hey! What did Cole do that you traveled so far to kill him? It was my directive. Disintegrate him. Repeat, disintegrate him. I want that man ashes. Removed. Hold it. That's it? You're, you're just leaving? After all this, you're just walking out of here? Stop by my sister's tomorrow, and um, you know we'll pack a picnic lunch and we'll go to the beach. What do you think? We've been talking about it for a long time now. I think it's about time we get back to our lives, you know. <gasps> ah!
Mr. Zachary, are you all right? You, you certainly are persistent, Miss Martin. That, that thing you were fighting, where did it go? Is it dead? It's quite dead. Your town is safe again now. What kind of ungodly being was that? It's called a lemoid, Miss Martin. It's a devilish creature capable of withdrawing the very life force out of other beings. The same creature responsible for that aged corpse that none of you could figure out. I I'm getting confused. If it can take the life out of others, why couldn't it kill you? Oh, I have my own protective force against the Lemoy. Although it did weaken me. I don't understand. You keep on referring to it as though you know it. No, stop! That's close enough. Why? What's wrong? I'm surprised you haven't figured it out. What? What do you mean? I... Edie. Don't you see? I am an alien, too. These three creatures that I've killed, they're wild beasts brought to your Earth quite by accident. I knew the spacecraft had crashed in those hills. I used the meteor story as a cover. Wait, wait. This doesn't make any sense. If you'll just listen a moment. That spacecraft was en route to my planet. The cargo, of course, were the three creatures who had been terrorizing your town. They were zoological specimens captured on distant worlds and being brought back to my world for study. That alien I communicated with was another intelligent being from my planet. Unfortunately, the craft malfunctioned and crashed here. I was sent to intercede with as little spectacle as possible. I still don't understand. You're human like us and you speak English. Humanoid, Edie. But not like your people. Our technology is extremely advanced. I was able to manufacture a disguise and I learned your language through telepathy. I acted cold and distant because I knew the danger all of you were facing, and I wanted to keep you away from it. It was the only way I knew how. Why are you hiding back there in the shadows? The Lemoid destroyed my earthly disguise, and although we are a peaceable race, to you I would look horrible. I want to see what you look like. No, please. <laughs> Edie, look out! No, Jack, no! It was Zachary, Jack, it was Zachary! He wasn't gonna hurt me! You have more than a passing interest in our prisoner. Yes, I do. Again, you've shown your strength. You're not going to win this game. Now that you've shown your true colors, who are you? I come from the Steloid Arthrotron. For millennia, we were ruled over by the tyrants of Quadrant Five. Finally, when our day came, we ambushed the enemy on Alpha Seven. Along with thousands of innocent students from our sector. I couldn't be responsible for those who got in our way. Their people were murderers were exiled for a good cause. What do you want? I came to stop this execution. I fooled your computers. I disabled your apparatuses. A skill, Commander. Skill. That genetic mutant bastard. Seems to have failed. The prisoner's dead. In one way. But not altogether. You thought you killed a prisoner? No, you're wrong. You killed my only son! Ah! 